Hey there, my friends. Happy Tuesday. Welcome into another edition of Teach Me Tuesday. My name is Jen Pitta and I'm with By the Shore Stamping. And today I'm going to show you uh, some really cute cards featuring the Butterfly Brilliance Collection. Um, the using the, I actually didn't really use the stamp set, but there's a stamp set that goes with it. And then I'm using mostly the dies and I paired it with um, I'm using these really beautiful detailed dies, um, and I paired it with our black and white True Love Designer Series paper, which I'll show you a little sneak peek of that. So you can see it's just all black and white paper, some really pretty patterns. So I'm using the stripes, which is here, um, but I love the flowers back here too. But there's all sorts of great little... Um, black and white patterns that you can actually color or you can leave plain or you can um, you know cut apart so really really fun paper but what I wanted to do today was I wanted to highlight our retiring in colors so if you're not familiar with how Stampin' Up! works every year we introduce five new in colors so these are the trendy colors in addition to our core color families. We have four color families, um, subtles, brights, neutrals, and regals. And then we have two in color families. So we just launched five in colors last year in 2020. And those colors would be good for two years. So they retire in 2022. And then the ones we launched in 2019 are now retiring this year. And so this year's catalog, which comes out in May, will have five new in colors. But that means the ones that we had from 2019 are now retiring. And I wanted to just make sure I give you a quick shout out to those colors because they are going to be on the last chance list, which comes out next week. And those colors usually go super fast. So if you want to protect your investment, if you have any of these colors, you want to make sure that you order the refills, the cardstock, the markers, anything you need that coordinates with these colors, um, uh, ink pads, the stamp and write markers, stamp and blends if they have them in this color that you want. There's ribbons that match these colors. So you want to get all that stuff now before the last chance comes out because once that happens, their while supplies last. So this is the card I'm going to make you. I'm actually going to make a set of these. I already did one, so I'll show you the other colors as we go along. This is my favorite color. This is the Seaside Spray, and I'm going to miss this color so much. It's such a beautiful blue blue color. Um, so let's go ahead and make some matching cards for that featuring the other retiring in colors. So this one is Terracotta Tile, and I am going to grab a piece of the black and white paper. Like I told you, it's the um, True Love designer series paper. That's actually in our January through June mini catalog. So this black and white paper is also still available. Um, like I said, the colors, the cardstock, the ribbon, the inks, the markers, all of that stuff, those are retiring and will be while supplies last starting next week when we launch the um, retired list. So keep an eye out on that. And again, if you have any of the, these colors and you want to stock up the, on them, I would do it sooner rather than later. And in fact, um, we have free shipping tomorrow. So tomorrow is March 17th, 2021, uh, St. Patrick's Day, and we are doing free shipping all day tomorrow. So another good reason um, it's free shipping for orders of $50 or more. So if you needed to stock up on some supplies or wanted to get some of these in colors, tomorrow will be a great day to do that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just cutting a little banner for this. And I should really do this in stages rather than one card at a time. So we're going to stick that down like this. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to do, um, let's cut all of the banners at once. We'll batch. Batch working is good. And then I can show you all the colors together when we're finished. So this is Pretty Peacock. This is another one of my favorites, and I'm going to miss this one a lot. Terracotta Tile, I honestly didn't use all that much. It's very similar to Calypso Coral, and that was the one I usually went for. But that's a nice color, too. Um, and then we have Rococo Rose. This is a nice mauve -y color. A really light rose. This is a really pretty one, too. I do like this. Um, I don't know why. It has kind of like a heirloom-esque color. Like, it just feels like it would be really pretty for, like, vintage albums and grandparents and things like that. It's just a really good 
pink and then we have purple posy now remember we had some issues with the purple posy ink pad so we don't have an ink pad or refill for this color but we do have everything else so the ribbon the markers um the cardstock etc it's just the ink pad and refill that we the color could not they couldn't get a good color match on it so and they tried multiple times and then they just kind of gave up figuring well we have the um stamp and write markers and the blends so that will have to suffice right okay so there's the four or five colors rather so let me go ahead and tape these parts down like i said we're gonna do batch working we're gonna make a really cute set of note cards and i'm making them all exactly the same you could of course switch up the backgrounds on the black and white paper and that would be really pretty too but I'm just going to keep them all the same, make a really cute set of note cards. So there's the Rococo Rose. Let's grab the Pretty Peacock. I'd love to know in the comments below which one is your favorite. Um, again, I think the Seaside Spray and the Pretty Peacock are pretty close. Those are my two favorites, but I think I'd have to say Seaside Spray first. And then this pretty peacock color. It's a very different color, like not something we have anything similar to. So I'm gonna go ahead and the last color is the purple posy. This is a really pretty purple too. Okay, let's stick that down and then this. So then what we did for these note cards is I punched out a two and a quarter inch vellum circle and a two inch black circle. And I'm just going to attach these to each other. So we'll put that here. Whoops. Okay, I'll do vellum. It's hard to get vellum, the circle centered on the vellum because you can't really see it all that well. It actually would help if I put it on a darker cardstock, but. Eh, this will work. All right, and then the last one for this. I'm gonna put that here. And then I'm gonna attach these with some mini, I'm sorry, with some Stampin' Dimensional. So I'll flip all of these over. And we're just gonna add a few dimensionals in here. One, I like to do a triangle on the backs of my circles. So one, two, three. Keeps it steady so it doesn't sag in the middle. And then we're just gonna attach these to the cards. So these are really a really super simple set of note cards. And it doesn't matter which one we put where because they're all the same. So I'm just gonna stick that in the middle. Then we'll do the peacock like this. Then we're gonna do Rococo Rose, like that. And then the final one, the Terracotta Tile. All right, and then I'm gonna grab some mini glue dots and we're gonna attach our butterflies to the card. So I'm gonna do this. And attach that in the center. Okay, there's one. Then we'll do the rose, Rococo rose. Let's do a couple of mini glue dots on the top and the bottom. And stick that down. I love these detailed dies, they're so pretty. Then we'll do pretty peacock. One, two. Stick that down. Okay. And last but not least, the purple posy. And two. Like so. Okay. Then I took some basic white um, Baker's Twine from the Snail Mail Combo Pack. And added that 
to each of the cards. So let me just make four of these. There's one. There's two. Should have done this in advance. Sorry, guys. I did all the die cutting and stuff in advance just because I knew that would be easier. There's number three. And last but not least, number four. I already did the other one for Seaside Spray. So we'll do that. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to use mini glue dots for these as well. So we'll just grab the bow and stick it down on top of the glue dot and then I just pinch it so it's small enough that it doesn't okay, stick out from behind the knot and we'll do pretty peacock like that. And getting down to the end of my glue dots here. I'm going to add that. And the last one for this. We'll add that there. Then I'm going to grab my Take Your Pick tool and my Opal Rounds. And we'll add a couple of these. We use the um, smaller ones. And we'll just stick those on the butterfly body. Like that. Okay, we're almost done. I'm gonna grab three more for this one. One. Whoops. Come here. Oh, a little stinker. Doesn't want to stay put. There we go. Two. This one's being... I feel like these work better with the smaller. There we go. All right embellishments. You got to get it just right for it to pick it up. Come on. Also, I'm running out of putty in here, so that doesn't help. There we go. One. Two. Three. I love these rounds because they kind of pick up whatever color you put them on. So they work beautifully with this because like, see, this looks like it's like purple. The other one looked like it was that pretty peacock color. Oop, come on. And last there. Okay, and then the last step for these is just to do the little... Um, note. So let me grab a piece of Whisper White paper and I have Memento Black ink and I'm using the a little note from Enjoy the Moment stamp set and then I'm just going to stamp that on the bottom and then I can trim it off. So we need four of these so I'm going to trim it in really close like that. There we go. And then I can stamp another one. Again, right down at the bottom. Like that. Trim that out really close. Whoops. Okay. There's two. Let's do another one down here. And 
And that's number three. And one more. Right down at the bottom. And number four. Okay. So then what I did is I just took my paper snips and cut little banner ends on each side. I didn't leave a whole lot of excess on the sides of these. So they'll just be small little banners. Like that. And like that. There's one. And again, one of the things I should have done in advance, but these are still coming together really quickly. And do that. Two. Corner center, corner center. Three and one more. And center, corner to center, corner to center. And there's four. Okay, so now I just took my regular adhesive and stuck that on there and just kind of put that right across the middle like that all right note cards are always handy to have so that way you can use it for whatever you would like so i'm gonna stick that down and this one like that and terracotta tile all right so now i can show you all the finished versions and you can see all the colors so here we have terracotta tile rococo rose purple posy pretty peacock and seaside spray there you go. So those are the retiring colors. Those are the colors that you'll want to snag ASAP. And again, free shipping tomorrow with four orders of $50 or more. So that would be a great time to stock up if you need any of this. And of course, if you need anything else, if you need um, envelopes or inks or you want to get some new stamps, tomorrow's a great day for that. And remember, that's March 17th. We're in 2021. So I hope you have a great week. And as always, if you need anything, feel free to reach out to me, jenpitta at comcast.net. Otherwise, I'll see you next week for another edition of Teach Me Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.